Well, welcome back to Dems MTB. Today we're doing something a little different. Today we're just doing a bit of a gravel ride. I put the gravel tires on my mountain bike. The ones that earlier this year that I uh, had put on my spare rim, so I had those as for gravel biking and that. Because I like to do a bit of gravel biking with my mom and that. She, that's what she, the type of biking she likes. But unfortunately, she's not well and unable to come today. So I thought I'd do a bit of a ride before I go home. I'll show you a couple pretty sections, and that's not going to be a terribly long video. But no matter whether it be mountain biking, or whether it be gravel biking, just road biking, whatever, just get out, get riding if you can. If you enjoy it, get out. Beautiful. Beautiful weather. It's supposed to rain this afternoon, so I'm kind of look ahead. It's not so pretty clouds, so I might be pushing the envelope here on whether we get wet or not. So today I am filming with the uh, with the Go 3. Just on my shoulder here, so I'm not sure how the video will turn out. But you know, until you try, you don't know, right? So the Go, the Go 3 films in 2.7K, which you know, I think that's enough. Use it a couple times in a couple of my videos. And it's decent enough, I think. Good enough for filling normally. Which is kind of what I'm using it for. It's light, it's small. It separates, got the little camera separates so I can utilize it for different perspectives. Which, again, I have done that in my videos. I did that one where I was going in Melbourne going over the rocks and I had the little Go 3 filming from the bottom and the X4 on my chest, so I got both perspectives. Might have been in one of my shorts, I put that together. So I uh, bike from my trailer, which is just by Conscious and bike down to Wellington uh, along the rail trail, and that's yeah, 17.8 kilometers, so to get there. Way back, I have to decide what route I want to take, which I think once I get to hell here, oh, I got a bug bite in my helmet. Oh shit! <clears throat> Once I get to hell here, I'll have a better idea how my body feels. Oh. So yeah, we're. It's not going to be a terribly long video. I don't want to sit here and bore you on flat trails. I, you know. Mind you, if you enjoy listening to my voice, you're quite welcome to. One thing about this trail, there's a lot of, some farm fields and that, but a lot of marsh. A lot of, a lot of marsh and, and so you get towards hill here, some pretty heavy in the swamp there. It's 
trails. You know, I often see bunnies and that. And last year I have seen deer on them. That's usually early in the morning though. One reason I haven't uh, gone mountain biking today is I had this pain in my back and some muscular pain. And the last three years, I always seem to get it at different times. And I think I brought it on by lifting the heavy logs and doing the wood and that that I did a few weeks ago. And uh, my back doesn't like certain sleeping positions, which I find it they're making it worse. But anyways, it's a twist and turn that really sets it off. And when I actually get like a shot of muscle pain or whatever, it's a significant amount of pain and it kind of locks my body up and I don't need to be doing that mountain biking. So, I'm not saying I'm not gonna do mountain biking, I just gotta play how it feels that day. So. Oh, just that hill you're here having a little break. We're gonna leave by the looks of the clouds. Okay, then I'll get rain. Up where we're going, which is kind of that way in the long run, doesn't look too, too bad as what's over there. So we might be okay here, but rain's not gonna hurt me. The only problem I have with the rain is if I get, I don't want this uh, dust, this fine granular dust getting wet and forming a paste. And that's how you basically wet sandpaper your whole bike. Um, but anyways, if I need to get a gravel bike, I don't, you know, I'll take care of, but that way my mountain bike doesn't take a shit kicking as much on the bearings, a lot more bearings. A lot more moving parts on this full suspension bike. Whew. Anyways, off we go. On the road again. Well, not really. On the on the path again. See, there's a Stanyard's Vineyard tasting room. Trying to debate what to do here. Do I take the road to go back and the way I came? Or do I include an extra section of the gravel, then take the road, then take the offshoot side road down to the provincial park, cut across there and circle back in. Now, you know what? That sounds like that's a bit of an adventure. I know the uh, part of the beach is not taken care of. It's all shale. I won't be riding across that. I'll be hike a bike across it. This is a, uh, this stretch is a little bit longer a stretch. Takes you along a big huge, huge curve before you get to that road that goes up towards Consecon. I don't know. I think it's four or five K probably.
Not quite sure what time it is. But I do know the rain's early. Because it wasn't supposed to be here until 2 or 3. It's definitely not 2 or 3. No, it's 11.37. God damn it. That's okay. Come on. This normally is all under water. Interesting. Here we are, Lake Ontario, folks. And all this loose rock and shale and stuff. We're just gonna walk across it to get to the sand path over there. That'll lead us to the park. Let's head home, well, back to the trailer. Gets a little tricky in this sand shit with these tires. Oh yeah. Ah, here we are, pavement bound. Well, thank you for watching Dems MTB. And we'll get back to the trail soon. And uh, please like and subscribe. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.